Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. It's me, John, asking you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. But this video is going to be a fun little ditty as I've been inspired by the new farewell tour for the McRib sandwich. Um, McDonald's released a press release about it saying like, this isn't really the last time you'll be able to see it basically it's just they just don't know when the next time they're going to be bringing it back is In the past couple of years it's been a yearly thing I think they're just going to pivot from the annual thing we might not get it next year or it might not be nationwide next year um, so some places probably will still be able to get it and there's actually one place in the world where you can get it any day of the year and we'll get to that one as well but in light of other places in the world being able to have it every day or just packaged up in a different way and that's what I'm here to do today is I am going to try to as closely as I can experience the McRib how it would be given to you in a different country the first country that I'm going to experience a potential flavor of a McRib is the country of Malaysia. Now in Malaysia they have certain religions that don't eat pork. So typically restaurants won't even have pork on their menu anywhere because the people who don't eat pork also aren't able to eat food cooked in the same kitchen as pork products. So fast food places don't want to have two separate kitchens the majority of the country doesn't eat pork so what are you going to do when you don't have pork but you still want to make rib well you either use beef or chicken now there are people that don't eat beef there but this rules about not eating beef aren't as strict as the rules about not eating pork so being able to have the chicken and the beef in the same place isn't as big of a deal feel free to correct me if I'm wrong on that I potentially am but I do know in Malaysia, you can get the McRib with a beef patty or a chicken patty. So it's easy to do the beef patty. I just got a McDonald's hamburger. And on one of my many McRibs I've ordered today, I asked for them to give me extra sauce and extra pickles and onions. Well, actually, I just asked them to put extra pickles on the, the burger itself because it's the same pickles. But I transferred some of the slivered onions and some of the sauce onto a burger patty. As you can see, pickles and onions. So we have the burger with the McRib sauce with slivered onions and pickles. Let's see how this one tastes. Now, the, in Malaysia, when you order this, it does come in this kind of patty. They don't turn the beef into a rib-looking patty. And it is served on a hamburger bun. So, this is fairly accurate. Um, it does just ring very similar to a burger from McDonald's, but the addition of the sliver onions in a barbecue sauce does give you some... McRibby feelings. Folks, if you were in Mac Malaysia, and this is all you had, well, this is one of the things you had to choose from, not a bad option. Now, the McDonald's around here don't have the chicken patties that are just like a burger. Uh, the closest thing we have is what I got is the McChicken. It is basically a giant chicken nugget. The ones in Malaysia aren't breaded. It's just a meat patty on a grill, just like a burger. But this is the closest I can get. We have your slivered onions, your pickles, your barbecue sauce. Let's try this one out. 
the chicken McRib. Well, it's definitely further away from the McRib flavor than the burger one. So if I was in Malaysia, I would choose the, the beef one over the chicken one. Now, of course, it's not the same chicken patty, so I'm just judging it off of what I have in front of me. So, of course, the chicken patty in Malaysia could taste more burger-like. Who knows? Moving on, we're going to go to... Brazil. Now, in Brazil, they have a few, actually a few different ways to order this. Um, they have the the cheese, the bacon one. Um, I believe they also had at one point the onion ring one, which I tried in my previous video. But at one point, they had this special one. It is uh, topped with shred lettuce pepper jack cheese, pickles, red onions, and mustard. No barbecue sauce on this at all. So I ordered a McRib with uh, basically just pickles on it. No sauce, no anything else. Everything else I added to my, myself. So I, asked, I asked them for mustard, but they didn't put a lot of mustard on it. So I put more mustard on it. But I put lettuce, pepper jack cheese, um, and red onion. So here's uh, what it looks like here. You can see there's no sauce. You can see the pickles, you can see the pepper jack cheese, the lettuce, the red onions poking out there. And of course, there's mustard on that as well. And let's go ahead and try this. This was actually, I believe, uh, during the World Cup when it was in Brazil. So it was like uh, all uh, coded and marked with different uh, soccer World Cup uh, information. Here we go. I knew that was going to happen because I saw him come in. I was like, oh, he's just going to drop it off and walk away. But then he rang the bell. Seeing as the only sauce on this is the mustard, it's a little on the dry side, but the pork tastes good. Um, I don't know exactly what pepper jack cheese that McDonald's uses, but the one that I have here isn't adding tons and tons of flavor. Um, I do like the red onion on it. The red onion has a, a bit of a sweeter flavor to it than a white onion. And when I do get that mustardy flavor in there, I actually do like it. Hmm. The Brazil World Cup McRib. Moving on yet again. This one is... So I mark this one down as Asia because... There are a Japanese, a Philippines, and a Korean version of the McRib that are all very similar. They all have lettuce, onion, barbecue sauce, and mayo. Now, one of them, I believe this is a Japanese one, they actually qualify it as a lemon aioli. Uh, 
But um, just like cover all those bases, Korea, Japan, Philippines, they all have something that's like this. Um, I will say that on theirs, they drizzle the barbecue sauce on top as a topping, but that's not an option for McDonald's these days. They just plop it in there. But as you can see, I got lettuce, I got mayo, I got the McRib with sauce already on it. And um, there's onions on here as well. Let's have a bite. Oh. And I almost forgot to qualify that I actually used Kewpie mayo on this one because uh, Kewpie is a Japanese brand, I believe, but it's also used in Korean uh, food as well. Um, but uh, I thought it would be more authentic if I used a Japanese mayo for the Japanese McRib. The mayo is actually not a bad touch to this. It does add a little bit of a, a richness to it. Actually pretty good. I would be more than happy if I was in any of these Asian countries and this was the option that was presented to me. I might ask them to put pickles on it just because I'm a pretty big fan of pickles in general. But I wanted to try this the way the McDonald's has it in those Asian countries. Moving on yet again. <clears throat> this one is one that I've seen that's both uh, Romania and Moldova. I believe those are different places in similar areas potentially. But this one has onion, pickle, mustard, and horseradish sauce. Horseradish sauce is different than prepared horseradish. Prepared horseradish is just, you know, diced, pickled horseradish by itself. Horseradish sauce is usually mixed in with a, a mayonnaise. So I happen to have some packets of horsey sauce from Arby's. That's what I used on this sandwich. Again, this one has no barbecue sauce, but has two different regular sauces. We have horsey sauce and mustard. We also have pickles and onions. Here we go. Not a bad flavor combination. The uh, the mustard horseradish combo here. In my opinion, horseradish is a very underused condiment. I know recently Jimmy John's had that black and blue. Uh, sandwich that had horseradish and blue cheese on it and I really like this one that one I like this one too of course you have to accept the fact that there's no barbecue sauce on it but I think in this case I could live with that this one's tasty. Now, 
I think I've saved the at least the most interesting for last. It might be the best. This one actually comes from Germany. And uh, Germany is one of, I believe it might be the only one, the country that has the McRib on the menu all year long. Every day that McDonald's is open in Germany, you can enjoy a McRib. And they have your regular McRib there, but they also sometimes have alternatives. And I've seen a couple of them, and they all tend to variate around one thing, the addition of a chili cheese sauce. Now here in America, you might think chili cheese, that's the kind of stuff you put on a hot dog. But it's not chili as in the bean dish. It's chili as in the pepper. So the chili cheese sauce is really just cheese sauce that has chilies in it. And in this case, I looked up the McDonald's website for Germany. And it's actually a chili powder and paprika. Um, so what I did is I found like a nacho cheese sauce. And I added a little bit of chili powder and a little bit of paprika until it looked similar to what I saw on the pictures that I was looking at online. Now the one they, they currently have in Germany, if you went to the website, is like a McRib that's in the shape of a burger. Um, but it is still pork. And it has the regular stuff on it, the sauce, the onions and pickles, but it also has this chili cheese sauce, and I believe it has like a fried onion straws on there, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, they had another one previously, and that's what I put together here because it's a little bit more complicated and interesting than that one even. This one has the barbecue sauce and the chili cheese sauce, but also has bacon and jalapeno. So that's what I made here. Now it doesn't have the onion and it doesn't have the pickle, but it does have bacon and jalapeno. And what you can see here, this cheese sauce that I made. I'm going to go ahead and try this. You see the jalapenos, see the cheese sauce. Here we go. Mm. Wow. Now it is messy. And that's uh, partially my fault because I already... I took a semi put together sandwich, dissemble it, and then added more stuff to it. But uh, I'll tell you this the bacon adds that smokiness to it, just like um, my previously like perfect homemade recipe for the McRib using bacon. But the bacon and the jalapeno and that chili cheese sauce together gives it like this perfect smoky spicy and that rich cheesy combination now i've had american cheese on it before and i just tried with pepper jack cheese as well but none of those come anywhere close to the flavor that this chili cheese sauce is adding to this McRib. Mm. Definitely, out of all of them that I've tasted today, the best tasting variation on a McRib is this one that I made based on what you get in the Germany McDonald's. So not only do they have regular McRibs all year long, 
but they're more than one time have introduced different variations on the McRib itself and I'm guessing they brought back the chili cheese sauce for the one I'm doing now because it tastes good and uh, I know it's not the same chili cheese sauce but it is a cheddar cheese based sauce with paprika and chili powder which is what they use in Germany You can't go wrong with adding bacon and the jalapenos. Chef's kiss. Anyway, I've made a mess. But I've tasted today. One, two, three, four, five, six. Global variations on the McRib sandwich. <coughs> and if you are a McRib aficionado, perhaps consider taking a trip or even emigrating to the country of Germany so you can get your McRib fix all year long. <laughs> Not to mention one hell of a McRib variant. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this trip around the world with our special guest, the McRib Sandwich from McDonald's. If you have any ones that you've seen um, from other countries that I didn't go over, or some variation on a McRib that you might have a unique idea for, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if anything strikes my fancy, and I read it before the end of this year's McRib farewell tour, I might try it. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. But until then, goodbye.